and allow them to just have discussions in regards to the future of our children. So we made a trip down to Sacramento. And for my children, they are, and a couple of the, the children in our community are immunized by a certain doctor. Now, I was telling my successor teacher, Yolanda, that I had already saw that once we went up to Sacramento because of us being on film, because of the things that we had said, because of so many of the supporters who were against the bill coming together hand in hand with us in prayer, see they paid attention to that. So my spirit told me, I said, they're going to go after the doctor or one of the doctors that our Hebrew children have been exempt by. So sure enough, almost not even two weeks later, a member of our community, Sister Hafia, sent myself an email in regards to the doctor that had written the exemption for my children. That he's being targeted. He's a doctor in San Francisco who's being targeted. And my spirit had already told me that they was going to try to find out who it was that had written the exemption for our Hebrew children. See, they want us to bow down to them. But as scripture says, we will not bow down to them, nor will we ever serve them. And that's what they are afraid of. The conversation that I had with my successor and teacher, I was telling her, I said, you know, they're not afraid of just us as people. They're not just afraid of us as mother, mothers. They're afraid of the power that we possess when we come together in unity. And we will not allow them to poison our children. So if you can, look it up. This is not something that's new. All the poisons that they have in these inoculations are not in any way okay to be pumped into our children. It's not okay for us to continue to bring our children down like guinea pigs to be filled with poison. All the ingredients, the aluminum, the aborted feces, all these things, why would you need to pump that into a child that's born with a natural immune system to fight against cold and infection? It makes no sense. So we just wanted to bring that to light to let you know that we continue to fight for our rights in every way. Not just our R-I-G-H-T's, but our R-I-T-E's. We have the right as mothers, as life givers, as the carriers of life, to say whether or not we want our children inoculated. So at this time, Haki Kuwa Shale! Sister Bree and Sister Takia with the piece entitled Lean On Me. Let's give them a hand. Oh, oh. 